Homeward Bound Adirondacks is a nonprofit group that helps veterans who are suffering from PTSD or having trouble adjusting to life back home. Two years ago, we took you to the opening of a camp in the Adirondacks in Unchiota, where the group has been offering programs and therapy to help veterans in need. But for several years, Homeward Bound Adirondacks has been searching for a place to call their own to host retreats for veterans and their families. And as our Jack LeDuc shows us now, they have broken ground on a new permanent home in Malone that they will name in honor of an Army Sergeant, Carlton Clark, who was just 22 years old when he was killed in Iraq in 2006. On this secluded 105 acres of wilderness will soon rise a facility dedicated to helping military men, women, and families to get rid of PTSD, affecting so many military veterans returning from intense war. We've been holding retreats for the last five or six years in the Adirondacks, and we've used a variety of different venues. Um, the last couple of years, we've been leasing a, a property, but now we own our own property. So we're planning on building a lodge, and then we can hold retreats here for veterans and their families um, to deal with PTSD, depression, anxiety. Um, and we're excited owning our own property. We can use the property year round. Ainsworth and others are looking for grants and funding to cover the estimated $300,000 cost for a lodge. A North Country fundraiser was recently kicked off to bring in early funding. People purchase tickets in several area grocery stores. The prize? To fill a shopping cart with $400 worth of groceries of your choice. Only a few miles away and a week later, the groundbreaking ceremony for a veterans lodge was well underway. People in the community have been very generous and very helpful. Um, we have the family of Sergeant Clark here. Um, Sergeant Clark is the young soldier that was killed in, in um, combat um, that we named our camp after. And so his mother and father are here and we're very honored to have them here today. There's 100 acres here and there's three ponds and it's a mixture of sort of this open meadow like we are here right now and then there's also quite a bit of wooded area and wilderness. There's a lot of nice trails and logging roads on this property so even though it's 100 acres we can access most of it which will make nice walking trails or cross-country ski trails in the winter. In the future we'd like to add some cabins so that we could have the lodge and then also have some cabins back in the woods. Um, and then we have the three ponds that we're gonna use for kayaking and, and fishing. A typical retreat would last two or three days with an overnight. Those attending previous retreats say that's where the serious talking begins. Veterans are difficult to get them to tell you the problems. But when they come here, and they hang out with more veterans who have similar problems, they open up. George from uh, Staten Island, he's had eight tours overseas. And he said that what we do here is the best that he's ever seen with any group that works with veterans. I wouldn't say there's any best way to deal with post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, I would say for the people or the veterans that have PTSD, is to embrace that feeling that they have presently in order to understand more about what it is that they're faced with. I, for one, when I came back, I used to freak out about everything. I couldn't drive down the highway. I would just stop. If I saw a box on the side of the road, I was that guy who was stopping the highway and run away from my car because I thought it was going to explode sooner or later. Uh, what I can say, though, you can deal with it by staying active. The more seclusive you are, the more episodes you're gonna have. I have been asked on several occasions, why a Vermonter? We have many such deserving veterans right here in New York. Well, this Vermont soldier had, from what I was told, planned to attend Paul Smith's college in the forestry program upon separation from the Army. So although Sergeant Clark never made, never got it to fulfill his dreams, those dreams will eventually live for posterity here at the Sergeant Carlton A. Clark Veterans Center. Sergeant Clark's father summed it up nicely. I didn't know anyone when I came in here, and I feel like I know them all. 
For Mountain Lake Journal, I'm Jack LeDuc at the Sergeant Clark Memorial Camp in Franklin County, New York. Jack LeDuc's Adirondack Journal on Mountain Lake PBS is brought to you by Northline Utilities.